Hello folks, Jared here and welcome back to the Zero Budget Top Jive's playthrough and uh, well we're gonna start off with uh, some pack openings, basically uh, the events of the last episode have ended so it's time to um, well open up some steel packs and as you guys might have been able to notice I only had common and uncommon cards in the previous episode, however with uh, these two steel packs that obviously changed. So now we got uh, the Punto, I think it was the Punto, and uh, well, basically the Mercedes Benz, which um, I'm, well, I was away for like two days, so sadly I did not compete much. Um, however, I did get some useful stuff out of this, and uh, well, in this episode, we'll be continuing to get, you know, uh, more good stuff, so stay tuned for that. I mean, I, I think it's pretty obvious that you guys can see that this is a voiceover, but uh, we did in fact also open up the 60RQ pack, which yielded uh, some, well, questionable results. I mean, it's only a steel pack, but as it turns out, uh, with these packs, it's not really about the cards, it's more about the, well, very little cash amount and the extra slot, which is awesome. Just for good measure, let's also open up... Um the, I guess, uh, mystery gift, which is uh, probably, uh, I think it's like a steel pack or something. So let's see what we get. Uh, it might be something useful or it might be um, 500 jazzes. Doesn't seem like it, but you know, two is more than enough. This is actually a d decent car. Might end up using this. And the last one is, it's actually a Suzuki Swift. This is actually uh, pretty decent for the uh, rain stuff because it has standard tires. 10,000, holy fuck, okay, that's good. 50 gold, that's good. Five slots, okay. Was not expecting that many slots. Um, sure though, sure, we'll, uh, we'll take that. There you go, now we actually have some stuff to upgrade, but I'm gonna do that off camera. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is actually complete a part of the campaign, the first one. Not actually the UK one, because I need uh, four, uh, I mean, uh, two four-wheel drive cars, which I don't yet have. But we will comp uh, complete the France campaign, which is actually gonna be uh, way more useful, because this uh, Renault is actually OP. Like, it's great for its stats, so... The surface in, uh, is on the road, and this is basically like my um, best hand here, so let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do. So this thing should beat uh, the Renault to 100 on city streets, um, possibly this one. My weakest card is gonna be this one, and it's gonna beat out that. Uh, we're actually not winning this one. Um, maybe if we have the Renault in our hand after we win this match. Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna put this thing here. This thing here. And let's see what happens. Yeah, we win that. Um, actually, we don't. God damn it, the, the Renault has um, like really good mid range acceleration. And my Camaro just has, well, bad top speed so what can we do anyway i think that we should still be able to win this match uh probably like 150 to uh 100 i'm hoping okay there you go mm. one more drag uh, at least he's not leaving me quite behind it's not much better but still there you go and the last race we do have, so that's good. Okay, one by no, like a hundred, which is fine. Okay, so this is a first super rare, which is actually pretty useful. It definitely will be very useful. Happy to have it. And um, there's another uh, rare Ronald here, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, basically farm this thing. Until uh, we get that card, maybe it's for the wheel drive, and that allows us to get the Caterham. Okay, so this appears to actually be the 
Rare than old, and um, it's not the one that I was hoping for. I was hoping for either the what is it, the Kwanzaa or the Safran, especially, but uh, nope, no such luck. God damn it. Okay, so that's great. Oh my god, I totally forgot about uh, this thing, so let's go ahead. Hmm, also, wow. 45 grand for some Mercedes stuff, that's cool. Actually, some useful stuff here. Who knows, I'm gonna maybe try and save for the garage slots, that might actually come in handy. But let's go ahead and open the RQ55 reward, which is probably just like a steel pack. Yeah, it appears to be, but it's better than nothing. So, let's see if there's anything useful. Ugh. Okay, hell yeah, I'll take it out, that's good. 10 gold and 1 slot. You know what? Not bad, I'll take that. Okay, so it seems like this is actually the one where uh, you get the Epic Mercedes, which I sold on my previous account, so this would actually be our first Epic. Which is kind of weird, because with this other queue, that's basically all we'll be able to have. Um. Okay, let's continue. I'm um, close to getting this Camaro over here. Nice, the Vectra. Oh my god, the Vectra! Yes! It's a four-wheel drive car! At last! Holy crap, that took us a while. So, before we finish USA, what we're also gonna do is finish the UK. What is it? It's over here. Oh yeah, that took us way too fucking long. So, we have that. Surface is mixed. This, is it gonna do? Seems like it will. That sounds just fine. Um, let's put this thing here. And actually, uh, never mind. What we're gonna do is... This. This. Slalom test. Um... This, this, and then the four-wheel drive Vectra on the rain, on uh, the rainy tri uh, twisty road. So we're not exactly gonna three-star this, but you know, good enough. We had the Bravo, some gold. Okay, it's time for yet another boss. So upgrade cars. This shouldn't be. Uh, th this should not be a huge problem beating this guy. So. Where's also, I mean, where's this thing? It's there, and I already have the Eclipse in there, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, re I mean, not the Eclipse, the Lancer, so we're gonna replace the Lancer with the Orlando, and then we basically have like one spare out of cube for this guy, so there you go. That should be, we should be restarting this, honestly. Let's put that there, this there into a car thing. Yeah, the Orlando should be winning that. And so let's not put the Renault on city streets because it's low right height. It should be a fairly convincing win here. There you go. Uh, the mid range on the Camaro is not great, but it's better than the mid range on Caterham, which is mainly just a car that has good handling. Now, we should be winning this one with the Lancer, yep, okay. Uh, the Orlando, I mean, I think, yeah, just badly, I mean, the stats are, like, much better than on the LN, but considering how light the LN is, that was actually a close race. This one, yeah, we can just skip to do because we're also gonna win the last one. There you go. So, we have the Caterham 21, and there's also a Jaguar here, that's rare, let's uh, try and get that. Okay, seems like uh, we're gonna have to go ahead and uh, replay this a few times, just so we get the rare Jag, because like at this point, rare cars are actually still uh, fairly helpful. Um, and they probably will continue to be, honestly. There you go. Ok, 
Okay. An 82. There you go. So this is the jack that uh, we well ended up getting. It's 8172. That's fine. It has standard tires, so it's not terrible. Um, could definitely be better as well, but whatever. 1.2 grand. That's nice. You do get more than the well final bosses. So now let's also complete the USA campaign, just so we're done with the first three, and then I'm probably just gonna farm all of these things off screen. Okay, we're gonna replace this with that, and then I'm just gonna put the Lancer here because the beat is not gonna be good in this track set. So let's uh, let's try this again now. And test ball. Hmm. I mean, I guess the Jaguar might not win, but who knows? Camaro. Mm, I guess this thing. This and the Caterham's gonna get demolished on the last one, but we should be able to win by one star. I am hoping. Just depends on this race, honestly. And we do not have it, as it seems. Like, we're gonna lose by 50 here. It was close. Uh, maybe if my Jack was just slightly upgraded, it would have been fine, but like this. No, we even managed to lose this one. Holy crap, we are not getting very lucky, actually I mean we won this one, but uh, on the last one we were just gonna get our asses kicked, so it's not gonna be amazing, but here this one we win by 113, so we have to lose by less than 63 to actually be competitive in this one, and we're actually gonna be able to do it, holy crap, that CTS does not have a... Uh the mid-range I expected to have. Okay. There you go. That's the Z28 that we just got. Sure, I'll take that. And it's a stand, uh, and it's actually a Mazda. I, I would actually want a Mazda. Mazdas are very useful. Okay, so this is the Mazda we got, and Sadly, it's not the white MX-5, which is our Q13 and is absolutely dominant. However, uh, it's actually one of the better cars that I have now, so I'll gladly keep it. And with that, also a Hummer, which is it, pretty bad, honestly. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the RQ60 reward. I know that I uh, mispronounced uh, this uh, in, the uh, in the beginning of the video. However, let's see. Another steel pack, unfortunately. Maybe we get a rare. Uh, Astra, that's, that's fine, but not much. Oh, hell yeah, okay. This squash though is actually gonna help me a lot now. I am so happy that I got that. Plus, it's four wheel drive. I believe it's like a 5 4 um, 0 to 16 80 to grip when it's max, something like that. But I'll definitely keep it. That's that's a good way to end an episode. Hell yeah. So thank you guys for watching. My name's Jerry, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.